Okay, this video is for arithmetic or arithmetic sequences word problems. This is just going to be the word problems. And to start off, I want to give you a reminder of the explicit formula. Be sure to pause and write this down. If you don't have it memorized, you're going to need it memorized because I'm not going to give it to you. Um, T sub 1 or U sub 1 will be the first term. Don't forget that D is your common difference and N is the number of the term that you're finding or looking for. So this N is always going to be the same as this N. If you are looking for the seventh term, this N will be 7. Now let's look at a word problem and be sure to pause whenever you need to in order to catch up or rewind if, you, if necessary. Okay. A garden watering system costs $389.95. As time goes on, its value depreciates by $42.50 per year. What is the value of the system after four years? Okay, I'm always saying find your pertinent information. The important information here is that it costs $389.95. That's for the very first payment. Right there is what it costs. And then it's going to depreciate by $42.50 a year. Depreciate means it's going to lose value, so it's going to be, our D is going to be negative 42.5. And our initial cost is going to be our first term, T sub 1 or U sub 1. Now, the, the key here is that it says, what is the value of the system after four years? Well, our initial term right here, our 389.95, that's our first term. After our first term is our first year. So we bought it, and then after a year, that is T sub 2. So that's our second term. And then after that, after the second year is our third term. After the third is our fourth. So after four years, we're looking for the fifth term. So you're going to look for T sub 5. Now be sure to pause. Here's the equation again, or the formula. Be sure to pause and plug your numbers in before you go on to the next slide because it's going to show you what to do. Okay, now when we look at this, we have to plug our numbers in. Very simple. T sub 1 is 389.95 minus its depreciation, 42.5. N is 5, so 5 minus 1 is going to be 4. So it's going to be 389.95 minus 42.5 to the fourth power. Pause now and do the math and then check your answer in a moment. Okay, and your answer should be, after you do all of the math, you should get 219.95 if you did all of the steps in the right order. Don't forget the order of operations. You have to multiply before you subtract. Moving on. Now, I want you to do the same problem, but find the value of the system after nine years. We do exactly the same thing, except that after nine years, we will be looking for the tenth term. Therefore, we are looking for T or U sub 10. Pause now, plug in your information, and find the answer before you move on. Okay, if you plugged it all in, you should get 389.95 minus 42.5, this time times 10 minus 1, which is 9. Pause here if you don't want to find the answer. Spoiler alert. Okay, your answer should be, if you do all of your math correctly, $7.45. Moving on. This one is a little bit different. And I'm going to take it step by step. The starting salary for a teacher in one school district is $30,000. The salary increases by $800 each year. First, write a formula that gives the salary in the ninth year, and then find the salary for the tenth year. I want you to notice a couple of things. First of all, our starting salary is $30,000, pertinent information. It's going to increase by $800, pertinent information, and then we want to find the salary for the tenth year. So we have here two questions that we have to answer. One is we have to write the formula that gives the salary in the nth year. And the second one is find the salary for the tenth year. 
we will take the first one first, obviously. So, what do we need for the nth year, the nth year? That means this can work for any year. If we want to find what is the salary for the 25th year or for the 13th year or whatever, this formula will work. So all we need to know here is our first term, T sub 1 or U sub 1, is going to be $30,000. Our common difference is going to be it's increasing, so it's going to be positive 800. So all we have to do, let me say that again, all we have to do for this formula for the nth year is plug in those two numbers and we leave our ends alone. So when it says write a formula that gives the salary in the nth year, whenever it says this weird little term here, nth, you're going to leave the ends as n. So then this right down here is indeed your final answer. Now let's move on to the math part. Now we have to find for the tenth year. Notice it doesn't say after the tenth year, it says for the tenth year. So we're just going to find t sub 10, the tenth term. So we plug in, we use the formula that we just found and we just talked about, and we are going to plug it in t sub 10 equals 30,000 plus 800 times 10 minus 1. Pause now, do the math, and I hope you plugged it in right. Do the math, and I'll give you the answer in a second. Okay, here comes the answer. You should have gotten, for the 10th year, $37,200. I hope this helps. I'm going to go on to do geometric word problems next.